Ladies and gentlemen, turn off your smelly vision. We're headed into the sewers. Hello everyone, my name is Rexman and welcome back to some more Let's Play Pokemon White 2. We're now in the Castalia sewers because, well, the plasma apparently was somewhere around here. And well, Bagel needs to uh, count on us, so we're actually going to go together with Bagel through the sewers. Now the sewers are... Well, full of wild Pokemon, for example, Grimer, who you shouldn't bother with, levels up way too late, is a physical attacker and has like special move pool, so that's just poor. So yeah, don't don't bother with that. Uh, it does have a few other Pokemon that I could recommend. But yeah, as you can see, every battle will be a double battle and uh, Bagel will be with you. It also looks a little bit different during the winter than it does during the summer uh, here in the sewers so keep that in mind too now another Pokemon that you can find here is Rattata it's a very weak uh, normal type pretty much on the same level as Patrick which you could get a lot earlier and it's just far tossed by normal types so again don't bother with Rattata either there's one lost uh, Pokemon that I could actually recommend though and uh, I think we need to go to the other side actually um, and that one is well as we grab this twist swing which boosts fit psychic type moves it's actually Zubat yeah that's right Zubat is actually good in uh, this game because it evolves at level 22 pretty quickly and then evolves again through happiness so in tw level 23 you can have it at its final form it has great speed decent overall stats and it learns some pretty nice moves Fender Shock, the TM from the second gym works very well and it's overall a pretty great poison slash nor or flying type so I can actually recommend getting a Zubat if you run into one hey what what do we want yeah your villains Huh, don't treat us like villains. Well, you're villains, so of course we're gonna treat you like villains. Yeah, you just steal Pokemon like they're tools. Hand over a Pokemon? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's do a double battle here. That's right, it's Team Plasma Grunt and Team Plasma Grunt. Both have one Pokemon. Which, they have a Scraggy and a Sandow, huh? Pretty cool Pokemon. I, I kind of like both of them. And he will send out Servine and we have Doge. Now Doge isn't really too useful here because Sando is actually a ground type. So we're a pretty bad match up here. I think I'm actually going to go for uh, Different who uh, can show off his new d -Watt form. Uh, because uh, Jackaroo would be weak to the fighting types that... Um, what's it called? Scraggy could uh, whip out. So yeah, although, you know, there we go. Uh, the sand that was already down so we could have probably just focused on Scraggy and be fine. Let's uh, razor shell it though Oh, well, it's gonna go for a leaf tornado. Is it gonna do all the work for me? Oh, it almost did. Let's finish it off and There we go. Very easy battle And we defeat them quite easily Hmm. <laughs> yeah, your Pokemon are no help at all. Oh, there we go. They got the Pokemon, so again, they run off and flee. Well, there might be more here, but hmm, not necessary. Oh, who's that? Oh, it's the gym leader, Berg. Yes, sir, one in the same. I'm Berg. There was no one suspicion beyond here. Hmm, okay. Indeedy, I'm concerned about Team Plasma as well. More importantly, shall we leave this place? For some reason, the sewer is bugging me. Oh, the pun. The pun. Huh, yeah, didn't you guys fight Team Plasma? Well, thanks for the help. And we got HMO4 Strength, which is a pretty good normal type move actually for this early in the game. But he's gonna run off now and we're by ourselves now. Hmm, he's gone. Yeah, he is. Oh, who's this? Huh, that was an excellent demonstration of battling. The way you brought out the power of your Pokemon against an opponent like Team Plasma. Astounding, simply astounding. Interesting as well, I see. Huh, that was strange. Yeah, who was that? Hmm, no matter. What are we going to do? We can stay here and train Pokemon, or we can come challenge him, the gym leader. Be seeing you. Well, we actually will challenge him in just a little bit. First, I want to explore some more of the sewers. I should have probably picked up some repels, and I'm gonna regret that, but alright. 
First of all, we can go into this little cave. This is the Relic Passage. Uh, now you can catch a bunch more Pokemon over here, actually. Uh, you can catch the rock type Pokemon, Rog and Rolla, uh, which is, if you can ev in trade to evolve it to its final form, it's actually quite nice. Uh, this is a dead end, by the way. Uh, so yeah, we're pretty much stuck here. But Rug and Roller has pretty good attack and defense stats. Um, and you know what? I'll just talk over this battle. Because I don't want to keep cutting stuff out. Uh, but only if you can evolve it through trade. Uh, it still has a pretty lackluster move pool. Only learning rock type moves. So overall I can't really recommend it. Um, if, you, if you can evolve it though through trade to its final form. Then it's it's a decent option. Um, furthermore, you can get a Wubat, which is a flying psychic type. Uh, it actually has a pretty nice speed and overall okay stats. Uh, it has pretty nice moves that allow it to be a nice hindrance to opposing Pokemon, but it's not really the greatest. Uh, you can get a Timber, which is a fighting type, which is pretty much the same uh, situation as Rog and Rolla, where you need to evolve it to get the most out of it. And uh, it kind of lacks diversity in its moves, mostly having fighting types. Unless you go to the move tutor with its final form, then it can learn the elemental punches, which does make it pretty nice. Next up, if you actually check one of the dust clouds that sometimes appear here, you have a chance of getting an Onyx. Now, Onyx has very nice high defense, but it has so many weaknesses that the defense doesn't even matter. Any grass or water type or fighting type, or even ground type I believe will just wreck it very easily so it's it's pointless to uh, even have it also um, I believe yeah like it can evolve to Steelix through trade um, but even then you know it's really just taken out too easily so it's not really worth it oh increasing your special defense a right? good thing we went for a physical type move there and critical hit nice taking you out in one hit but yeah, Onyx, I can't recommend it. Um, even with its high defense, its other stats just aren't good enough. Finally, you can get a, a Drill Burr here, which will appear both regularly and in clouds. And this is actually a great ground type. Now, while it's still in its unevolved form, in its unevolved form, it's somewhat unimpressive. But once it evolves, it turns into an Excadra and it's a beast. Getting the secondary ground typing already helps it a lot. But it also just gets amazing attack, HP and very decent speed stat. Uh, it has a, such a nice move pool, getting moves like Earthquake and Surge Dance through level up, which just destroys things. And then it also has access to some nice TMs like x and a couple of others. And overall, yeah, Drill Burr, if you need a ground type, definitely pick it up. I would 100% pick it up, if not for the fact that I used it during um, Pokemon White already. And I want to use a bit of different Pokemon this time around, you know? I don't want to use the same team I used that back then. So that's why I'm going to skip out on it. But if you don't have that, you know, same um, thing holding you back, then definitely pick one. Because they are great, great Pokemon. Also, one little stipulation. I kind of mentioned how... Um, how Onyx was only found in Dust Clouds? No, it's also found normally. I think it's uh, Drill Burr that's actually found in only Dust Clouds. And Onyx can be found both regularly and in Dust Clouds, I believe. So yeah, that's uh, a quick little um, correction I wanted to put out there. Because I kind of said that wrong. And nice, we got the burn. That should take him out, actually. Won't it? Yes, it will. Now I just need to walk over from this battle and grab that one other item that's over here because that's all that's really in here still that I'm going for. So hopefully I can do it without getting into any more battles. Oh yes I can. A heartstone. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and walk back to the entrance where I entered here. Alright, now that we're back here, if we actually go over here where uh, Berg was... Well, I don't think we can get that, unfortunately. Not this season, but over there, it's a hard skill. So if you're playing in the spring or summer, you can definitely go grab that, which is uh, quite useful. Now, let's see. I believe if we go down here and up here somewhere, is it over here? Yes, it is. 
up the stairs, we have this nice little part. It's still called Castelia City, but this is called, basically, fans call it the Castelia Gardens. Now, aside from getting a miracle seed here, like I said, you can get it very quickly. Uh, you can get a bunch of Pokemon here. Um, and they are pretty, pretty good. Now, there are a few more items and battles down in the sewers. So, when I go over the Pokemon that uh, you can find here in the Castelia City Gardens, why don't I show you some gameplay of the sewers that I'll just do uh, at the meantime. So, ready, set, and go. Uh, first of all, you can find uh, Eevee here. And wow, Eevee. Eevee has so many possibilities and it's a fan favorite because of that. Depending on how you evolve your Eevee, it can become one of different Pokemon. And depending on who you evolve it into, it's very good or not so good. First of all, if you give it a Water Stone, you can evolve it into Vaporeon. Vaporeon is a very good Water type, has a nice HP stat, and overall it's going to become one of the better Water types in the game. The only downside is that it doesn't learn any good diversity in moves until later on in the game, so you're stuck with just Water type moves mainly for a good part, but after that it can also get Ice type moves and other nice moves, and it'll be a tanky but good Water type. Alternatively, with a Thunderstone, you could evolve it into Jolteon. It's very speedy and has good special attack, but it doesn't really have very good move diversity. And personally, I'd say Allocate and Magnemite that you could catch earlier on already are better electric type options than it. So I wouldn't recommend it, but if you haven't picked up any of those, then Jolteon could definitely be good. If you give it a Firestone, it will become Inflarion. And what's the best thing to do with a physical fire type? Well, just give it special attacks, of course. Yeah, Nintendo, not a good move. Flaring just has no moves. It, it just has no moves that work with its stats, so skip it. Go for one of the other fire types you can get in the game. They're all much better. Uh, if you actually evolve it with happiness during the daytime, it will become an Espion, which is a very strong and fast psychic type. One of the best in the game. The only thing that is holding it back slightly is its move pool diversity, as it pretty much just learn psych type moves but it's so amazing at it that it doesn't even really matter that it can't really do much else because unless you face a dark type it will still destroy things finally if you evolve it with happiness during the night time it can become an umbreon which is a really nice wall works great with defensive strategies offensively it's not the strongest though and can be frustrating for those who just want to go all out attack so it's not a good option for those but who those who like to go for a defensive strategy umbreon is definitely great now, there are Leafian and Glacian, but neither of those are accessible until you beat the Elite Four, so I'm not going to go over them. I might go over them when I reach those areas where you can evolve your Eevee into those. Now, further on, you have some exclusive Pokemon. Uh, you can get a Grass type here. If you play Pokemon Black 2, you can get a Cottony, which is a decent enough Grass type. It's mostly used to pester your opponent, and uh, it has some nice moves for that, but overall, it's alright. Uh, not the biggest recommendation, but it's not the worst either. Uh, in Pokemon White 2 though, you can get the grass type Pedalil, which is very nice. Evolve it and make sure it has the own tempo ability and give it the moveset of Sleep Powder, Giga Drain, Quiver Dance and Pedal Dance and it will sweep the world. I used one in my Pokemon White playthrough, so I won't use it, but yes, highly recommend. You can also get one of two normal types, depending on your version. If you have white 2 you can get Skitty, who has very poor stats, even worse than Rattatas, so don't bother with it. In Pokemon Black 2 you have it a bit better with Buneary, which is a decent normal type, has some nice enough stats, uh, gets some pretty cool support moves, so it can be a decent normal type option. It's not as strong as, say, Lillipup, but overall it will hold its own. So that is pretty much all of the Pokemon that you can catch here and in the sewers. So I'm gonna go ahead and head out now and head over to the Castelia City Gym. Oh, looks like Iris has something to say. Your friend. You seemed pretty mad. Did everything go okay in the sewers? What are you gonna do now? You ran into Jim Leader Berg, didn't you? Maybe you should go to the Pokemon Gym and see how far you've come. I'm sure Bradling will help your Pokemon come to understand you better as a trainer too. Well, that's exactly what I was planning. Okay, here we are in the Pokemon Gym. Let's talk with Clyde. Yeah, we are a bit tired from walking all over, but 
we could use some fresh water as always. Now for those who have played uh, the original Pokemon White, Black and White, well the gym has gotten a little bit of a redesign. Yep, you're using these cocoons now to travel. So let's just enter in. And well, we get sped out somewhere else. And there's a lot of these Harlequins that we're going to battle still. All of them pretty much have very similar bug type Pokemon. But I'll just show off one battle and I'll cut the rest of them out. So this guy is the lucky one that gets to be shown off. Harlequin Clarence. We'll start off with a Swile. Yeah, bug grass type. They're level 22 though, so pretty high. Uh, Doge has a little bit of leveling to do if he wants to have a bit of a better um, time against the gym leader in a little bit. So I'm going to be doing pretty much all the battles with uh, him and see if he can uh, get some levels before we reach Berg. But yeah, pretty much all of them will use Swaddles and other bug slash grass types. Well, mostly bug types, yeah, that we've seen uh, up to this point. So yeah, nothing too interesting and for that reason I'm just going to cut most of these battles out uh, and just show you how to do the puzzle. So uh, if we go into this other cocoon here, we get sucked up here and well, huh, this doesn't seem to lead us anywhere except, well, someone will break out of the cocoon and this guy popped out. Oh, you were taking a nap inside there, huh? Are they comfortable to sleep in? Hmm, doesn't really look like they are, but let's give it a try. Let's nap inside. And, oh, nope, that one unfortunately sends us back down. Let's try going in this one. After we do another quick battle, of course. We need the experience anyway. Doge actually learned Fire Fang in this battle, so that's pretty nice. It's quite similar to Flame Wheel, but still... Nice to have another option nonetheless. Let's get some more experience in before we see the gym leader. There we are, now let's uh, see. Top of this cocoon, is that the right one? Ah, no, that just puts us out here. So we need the side of this one. I think that's the right way to go. Yep. With that, we actually end up in uh, Berg's room. So I'm going to quickly heal up my Pokemon. There we go, all done. Let's face off. Good work back in the sewers. My bug type Pokemon have been scurrying with excitement about getting to battle you. I'd say my bug type Pokemon are pretty great. Come on, let me brag a little. Dwebble's round little eyes are cute. It's resilient and reliable. My ace is Leveni. It's really the best. I think it's so sweet how it makes floats for other Pokemon out of leaves. Of course, I'm really proud of all my Pokemon. Well now, let's get right to it. Here we go, Rexby versus Bird. I think it's pretty funny how proud he is of his Pokemon head. He pops out of his cocoon. That's right, Berg has four Pokemon. That's right, the third gym leader, and he already has a team of four. He'll start off with a Dwebble, level 24. Um, yeah, um, Dwebble is a rock bug type Pokemon, so fire types aren't gonna have a good time. I recommend going on in with a water type if you have one, because uh, they will make quick work of them. So I decided to go with uh, different here. Other than that, a flying or fire type will be a lot of help for you in this entire gym and, well, this gym leader too. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's why Doge is really gonna shine here. Uh, but first of all, we gotta take this Dwebble out, so uh, that... Well, so that Doge doesn't have to worry about it anymore. If Different can actually do that, we gotta stop missing here. There you go, Different. That's it. Take that Dwebble down. And, ooh, level 20. Nice. Everyone is above 20 now, I think. Fury Cutter, huh? Uh, yeah, I'll forget about Tail Whip for Fury Cutter. It's a bug that move that starts to do more and more damage as you use it in succession which can come in helpful next up is Livani so I'm gonna switch over to Doge level 21 yep all my Pokemon are like 20 21 and he uses Pokemon 24 and up as a matter of fact this Livani is level 26 so yeah where you can't complain that I'm over leveled because I'm far from it let's see how Fire Fang does it goes with Grass Whistle huh what does that do what, it puts us to sleep? Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't like that at all. I, I really don't. 
I'm gonna go ahead and switch over. Because I gotta get him out of his sleep. This is definitely not good. Oh, it went with an aerial ace. Ooh, that might hit hard. Okay, let's see if I have anything in my bag to wake him up. No, I don't. Ooh, I did not count on getting put to sleep here. Uh, force bomb? Yeah, this battle might have just gone south a little bit. Because uh, I totally forgot that it has Grass Whistle. And we're not able to do any real damage here. Uh, actually, let's try me first. Because if, if it uses Aerial Ace... Oh, we didn't we use me first? Uh, we, we don't outspeed it, so that's why it's not working. Damn it. Uh, if we could outspeed it, that would have been great. Because then we could have aerial aced it to death. But, yeah, I'm not... Uh, I'm, I'm not really liking how this battle is going. Because uh, Jackaroo is going to go down here in the next move. We can do one more quick attack to hit it a little bit. But then this struggle bug will uh, take us out. So, we're uh, back to... Well... Different is gonna die very quickly, so Doge it is. Should have bought some Awakenings. Really should have. Oh well. Let's hope we can wake up. Aerialize, come on, hang in there, Doge. And wake up. I need you to wake up very quickly now. I don't know how long we'll be able to hang on. Oh come on, Doge, don't sleep so long. Much tired, very sleep, I know, but there we go. Doge woke up. Firefang takes out the Leveni, and the battle is back on our side. Doge gets a whopping 2000 experience points there, leveling up twice in the process. Now I'll take that, and we can learn to take that. Yeah, that seems better than reversal to me, honestly. Reversal seems like it's very limited in its use. Um, next up is a Carablast. I'll keep you out although I do kind of want to heal you up uh, so I'm gonna use a fresh water on you cuz uh, I don't want to get hit by a crit and then lose doge cuz I kind of really need doge for this gym battle let's go for another fire fang these headbutts hit pretty hard oh no a flinch too come on don't flinch here cuz you'll survive this there you go, Doge. Yeah, you're a monster, Doge. You really are. That means there's one more left. I'm gonna actually switch over to different just so I can use different to stall and heal uh, Doge up. Because Doge needs to heal. And you have a bad feeling about this. Are you in trouble? I would say you are. Let's use another fresh water on Doge here. And that will restore its HP. Oh, it's going for Curse. That will lower its speed. But it will up its attack and defense quite a bit. Uh, I'm going to see how well Return does, actually. I'm just curious. I know I have Doge as a backup. and Okay, maybe I shouldn't be messing around with this. Because it's going to power itself up very, very much. Although, it should mean that Doge will almost certainly outspeed it which I don't mind at all because I think Doge can still take it out in one hit with Ember because it's Ember is now going to be the better option as uh, its physical defense is so high at this point it just keeps going for curse doesn't it huh well if it keeps doing this then maybe different can take it out that would be quite funny wouldn't it yeah it just kept going for curse and different actually took it down good job different good job and with that we have defeated leader berg yeah gym leaders definitely get tougher in uh, challenge mode especially later on you know the first two weren't too much trouble but now it's getting a bit tougher especially if you're not over leveled hmm. we get the insect badge which i kind kind of like the design of that 
So let's put it into our badge case. And what else? The insect bat suits us. The Pokemon up to level 40 will obey us and we also get TM76 Struggle Bug, which is a pretty decent bug type move. It lowers the special attack of the target that was damaged. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Let's uh, head out of here now. Through this cocoon. And we pop out. And exit the gym. So, with that, I am actually going to go ahead and call this an episode. But, thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then please do consider subscribing to my channel. Because there are lots more Pokemon Y2 coming your way. And also, leave a like on this video below. That's always much appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time.